So this is a vlog, me home alone for the first time since college, and this was filmed in October by the way, so if anything's weird you know why. Hey guys, this is day one, morning, 9-11am, how morbid! Anyway, um, it is my first day of loneliness in my home. You can hear my pup, she wants you play, look how cute. She's so cute! This is weird. I've never been home alone before more than like a day or two. So I'm gonna really test my introversion skills, okay? Because my parents went to go visit my brother and then see our family friend's new house because they just moved, which is like five hours away. So I couldn't go because I have to work this weekend at my job. So this is my day off. And yeah, we're just gonna vlog the day, so then I feel a little bit less lonely, but also make content. I'm gonna walk the dog. Maybe you can see the chaotic energy I have to endure every time I walk the animal. Let's go. back from the walk on this gloomy day the thing about my pup right the thing about this one right here the thing about this one right here is when you walk her she oh thank you for kisses when you walk her she literally will drag you it'll either be 100 percent speed or like two because she'll stop and go backwards and sniff and she's a lot of chaotic energy and I grabbed a bag that had a hole in it, so I really had to avoid getting shit on my hands, which I did, so achievement unlocked, yes. I'm very proud of myself. You're very cute. Thank you for kisses. You're Next, I have to package a couple of items and ship them out, because I'm selling some things on Mercari and Poshmark, some clothing items, so I have a few things to ship today, so I'm going to package those up. So, I'm about to run some errands, y'all, by myself, which will be interesting, to say the least. So, come along with me. I'm gonna drop off those packages at the post office, and then I'm gonna go get a replacement phone mount from the car, because my sister bought me one from the dollar store, and it just was misplaced after, like, a few weeks of having it. I don't know where it went. It's only in here, only us drive the car, so maybe one of her friends stole it. <laughs> I'm kind of convinced, but I'm gonna go snag another one of those. And they're at the dollar store, so don't be spending all your money on Amazon. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go deposit some coin in the bank. Because it's taking me a lot to spend a dollar and nine cents on a new car mount, which I'm gonna make myself do today, and I'm also going out in public alone, and I'm not good at that either, so. Let's drive. So, 
they didn't have any more of the car mounts. <laughs> I guess everyone else caught on, and I went in there for that one thing, so nothing purchased today. My frugal ass is happy, but my materialistic ass is kind of annoyed and sad. Can you order things online from the dollar store? Is that a thing? But you'd probably have to pay for shipping, so it would be a little more redundant. I guess I'll just keep coming back until it's there again. I'll periodically continue to check. Now, to the bank! Two out of three errands, a success. Oh yeah! So anyway, I'm now going to prepare my script for today's live stream of Jess in the Flesh, which is my radio slash podcast. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the last episode in the card. Okay, guys. So I just finished doing my script for my show today. That took me about an hour, and I'm about to make myself some lunch. I have a salad every day. At least when I'm home, when I'm at work, I'll usually pack a peanut butter sandwich, because... I eat in my car, <laughs> and I don't want to make food that needs to be in the fridge because then I'd have to go into the back room to get it instead of just going out to my car for my break. <laughs> so, anyway, I will be making my salad right now. Bowl. Lettuce. Carrots. Italian dressing. Purdue shortcuts. Mexican blend shredded cheese. <laughs> Delicious chef's kiss. Mwah. Hey guys, so I was just editing a YouTube video and my puppy over there being cute. And then I was also watching YouTube on the television. It's like 2.30 p.m. I don't really know what I'm going to do right now. I might watch a little more YouTube before my podcast or work out depending on my mood. I should probably work out because I haven't done it in a few days. We'll get them gains. This is just me getting ready for my radio live stream, so that's fun. Okay, guys. So, let's continue with the meat and potatoes of the episode. So, basically, I'm now going to talk about why I believe I sabotage myself from growing on YouTube. So basically, like I was saying, I, in this episode, discuss why I feel like I haven't grown on YouTube. And it's mostly self-sabotage than anything and just me not being consistent. If you want to hear me go into more detail, um, you can just listen to the episode. Then I made myself some rice and chicken and carrots. I mean, it looks really disgusting, but it didn't taste that bad. I also added my favorite freaking sauce, which is like the sweet chili sauce. And I watched the Dolan Twins podcast while I was eating, so that was great. And then also at night, I was um, video chatting with my roommates from college. We started to do this recently. It was really nice and sweet, and I really like catching up with them. The next day. Hey guys. It's like 7.30 a.m. Last night was interesting. I had trouble sleeping. I woke up at like 3 and I really had to pee. And <laughs> so my dog usually sleeps on my parents' bed with them. But since they weren't here, I left my door open. She was on my bed for a little bit and then she left. And then I went to the bathroom to pee. When when I came out, she was there sitting there wagging her tail being really cute. So... She came back in my room for a bit, and I was laying on my bed and trying to go to sleep again. She's a rash on her paws, so she was, like, constantly licking them. And so I couldn't sleep for a while, and that was around 3, like I said. I just woke up now at 7.30ish, because this is around the time where she needs to be fed. And needs to be taken outside to go to the bathroom. I'm really exhausted. So I'm just gonna fall back asleep on the sofa for a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. I watch New Girl because it's iconic and it actually makes me laugh, and Schmidt is just an icon, I'm just saying. And then I went to work, this is me in the break room, just, you know, vibing, <laughs> see? And then, you know, I had to take piss, so there's my feet, love that. And then 
there's me in dancing in the fitting room, so watch me whip a nay nay and shit, I guess. <laughs> One hour later. Hey y'all, just got back from work. You can hear saliva, that's my dog licking her crotch, so gotta love thinking of that visual. Disgusting. But anyway, work was okay. Now I'ma just wait a few minutes, feed the animal, and leave the room so I don't have to listen to her crotch licking because it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> attempt at an omelet would turn out to be more like scrambled eggs which shouldn't it was still very good by the way um and then i watched scream i thought it was hilarious i mean maybe not the murder but um you know i i laugh at hard the next day hi kids hey guys so i woke up a couple of times in the middle of the night because the this cute little fluffy thing yeah so she was she was she was just being <laughs> Very annoying, but also very cute at the same time. But anyway, I woke up and I watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix. I, I knew stuff about manipulation of social media, but didn't really think about other factors. And I feel like it's an important topic to discuss. So I feel like I might make a whole video on it. I know I'll definitely make a podcast episode on it. But anyway, I have to shower and then I have work, so... Let's get to it, boys. Five hours later. Not for nothing, I just got out of my shift. I'm fucking starving and thirsty. I did not drink any water before I went in and it was rough because one, I'm dehydrated as fuck. Two, I'm on my period, so I'm even like double the dehydration. I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy at work, but like it's because of my lack of food and drink, so. I'm about to pound my lunch. So I was editing all this morning. I finished. I finished my video. Look. She be rendering. And it's on its side so then it doesn't overheat and stuff. Anyway, I'm about to eat lunch. It's not interesting. I'm going to have the same salad as I did the other day. So I'm not going to show you because at this point in the vlog, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't really vlog today, but it's the last day. I edited my video most of the day. I played with my little pup for a little bit. I walked her. I made myself some really good quesadillas. And now I'm about to do this workout over here. And then my parents shall be home and I won't be alone anymore. Anyway. Overall, this experience was really therapeutic for me, honestly. It taught me a lot about myself. I really got to just spend time with myself and my thoughts. And I'm an introvert, so I really do need my alone time to, you know, maintain my energy levels. And it was nice. There were definitely times, though, where I felt isolated and lonely. It really helped that I did have work so I had some socialization each day and I also had my dog which was really helpful because if my dog wasn't there like literally I would have gone insane you know how people are when they go into like solitary confinement that is torture but anyway it was a great time and it was so therapeutic and I really thoroughly enjoyed myself so until next time bye guys